So when you hardly read any of last month's TBR, can you just play that video over again next month? So December is here and my December tradition is to get shit tons of reading done. This is generally because December is the end of the year and my Goodreads challenge always seems to look like this, telling me how much I'm failing. So officially, I'm gonna read 18 books this month. Ha 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 ha, no. But it would be nice to see how close I can get. This is a bit of a mess of a TBR, to be honest. I'm gonna show you lots of things I'd like to read very optimistically, and in reality, we'll see the one book I've finished by the end of the month. Will I be reading the books left over from November? Yes and no. Literally. Yes and no. So my plan for this book is still to buddy read it with Holly over at Library at the Edge of the World. She however is kind of busy throughout the month of December, so we decided we'll try and look at it in January. Career of Evil however, that doesn't have to wait. I'm a big Cormorant Strike fan despite things I've criticised in previous reviews. I'm not sure I can go much longer without finding out what happens next. The only thing that tentatively puts me off is that it's it's quite thick. And December's meant to be a lots of books very fast month. And I'm, I'm worried it doesn't help me cheat enough. Anyway, let's go back to Holly at Library at the Edge of the World. And let's also add in Jen Campbell at Jen Campbell. One of the reasons Holly is going to be very busy this month is that her and Jen Campbell are doing a buddy read of His Dark Materials, which I still proclaim to be some of my favourite books ever, but I haven't actually read them since I was 12. I'm old now, guys. That was a really long time ago. Again, the idea of reading them really doesn't help with the blast through loads of books in December idea, but I'm not sure I can resist an excuse to finally return. I think what I might do is download Northern Lights and listen to it. I have a kind of weird line with audiobooks where I don't want to listen to an audiobook that might ruin a reading of it. I definitely get more immersed when I read a book than when I listen to a book. I know I miss lots of things when I listen. But I've already read these books and I already adore these books and I know that listening to it will allow it to get into my bloodstream again quicker and when I have no time to spare whatsoever. So that might be my audible book of the month. Further candidates. Another three I'm gonna try and get through in December, and not just December, in this week possibly. On Saturday, Pam McMillan is holding their inaugural book club and they are having these two lovely authors speak at it. So I'm gonna try and read The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Ruta Hapgood and Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Barnard. This one I've started reading the first few pages and isn't it shiny? So shiny and lovely. How do they make proofs this beautiful? Which means I know a tiny bit about what it's about. And so far I'm really loving it. I love the Germanic feel the family has because the father is German, so they use occasional German words and eat occasional German food and have German traditions. It sounds really simplistic, but it does really add an element to contemporary YA that I've just not found before. And also the science going on, possibly wormholes. This one I know a lot less about. I met the author once for about 10 seconds and she seemed lovely. I love the title, Beautiful Broken Things. I'm really worried because it says on the back for fans of We Were Liars and All the Bright Places, books which broke me and tore me in pieces and fed those pieces to the wolves. So yeah, I might need someone to look after me when I finish this. Anyway, now some books that I could finish in this month and raise those reading goals high. Remember how a few decades ago I made some videos, three videos, about poetry and how I was going to read poetry and poetry was great? And then I didn't read poetry again for like a few decades? Well, I've been reading some, just very slowly and never actually completing a whole volume so they never go on Goodreads. One that I've read a lot of is this WB Yeats collection. So much so that I could finish off the remaining poems and add it to my Goodreads. As always, you can tell when Stevie's read a poetry book when it's covered in scribbles. Another book I'm going to mention here, because I probably will finish it in December anyway, is Mort by Terry Pratchett. I've just been comfort rereading it for a while now and I haven't got a lot left. It's probably going to get finished this month anyway. This is definitely how you should read, by the way, not for enjoyment or to learn or to better your cultural understanding of others is to make Goodreads happy. Finally, my grandest cheat. I'm gonna read so many graphic novels. To be fair, this is my graphic novel to read pile, so it really does need seeing to anyway. Firstly, 
third Miss Marvel book. I know the fourth one is out by now. I'm so behind. I love this series. This series is doing superheroes in a properly diverse way. Main character who is female, who is Muslim, who sometimes wears a hijab. Amazing stories that sometimes feature Wolverine. And artwork I literally drool over. Not literally, it's it's a comic, it's precious, don't hurt it. Sex criminals, yes, I'm, I am the last person in the world who hasn't read this yet and I know I will love it, I just need to get around to it. It's a couple who have sex and freeze time and rob banks. What more could you possibly ever want from anything? The second Wicked and the Divine bind up because the moment this came out I literally rushed out to buy it and then for some reason sat on it for like four months. The Wicked and the Divine is a series about a group of gods who are reincarnated every 90 years into the bodies of teenagers. And they're gods, they have powers and they're amazing, but they're only gonna live for two years. So they kind of become messed up rock stars, you know, as you do. Kate Beaton's Harker Vagrant, I have read lots of these comics disparately online. I wanted to finally go through the whole book. Neil Gaiman's Hansel and Gretel. I mean, I was gonna buy this, it had Neil Gaiman's name on it. I really, really loved the other recent one he's done like this, The Sleeper and the Spindle. Although he also did that with Christopher Riddell and his artwork is amazing. I'll see what I think of this. It looks a lot creepier. The first Hawkeye, because I'm Avengers obsessed at the moment. I was off work ill last week and I basically watched the entirety of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Also, oh my God, that show, why aren't Fitz and Simmons together already? I have too much of an anxious, nervous disposition to cope with my ships not happening instantly. Rat Queens, I know very little about, but a friend recommended me super, super highly, basically put it in front of my face and was like, buy this, buy this now, you're not leaving the shop until you buy this. It seems to be a female kind of Dungeons and Dragons ish group? We'll see. And finally, yes, finally, this is the last one, I promise I will stop shouting comic book names at you in a moment, is Nimona by Noel Stevenson. This similarly, I don't know much about, but I've got the aspects of fantasy and feminism, which sound great. Also, just looking at it, I love the artwork. I follow the author on Twitter and she's amazing. And every single one of my friends seems to think it's the best thing that's been published this year, if not in the known universe ever. So, you know, it hasn't got much to live up to. I lied. I lied when I said finally, because I'm also going to continue reading The Scar. Got 170 pages left, remember? So there you have it, clearly. What I'm going to read in December, a pile of books I can barely hold. <laughs> I realised that even blatant cheating aside, that that is a lot to read for December. And that I might not actually get a huge amount of reading time in December. I mean, you know, the super secret project is already underway. What do you mean you haven't seen the super secret project? Of course you've seen the super secret project. More on that later. Anyway guys, tell me in the comments what you think of my proposed reading for December. Tell me if there are ones you particularly want me to try and get to. Or you know, I'll be in the same position as last month. I won't have read any of those, but I would have read a different huge stack of books. Let's see. With that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Starts contemporary YA. New girl has to start at a new sixth form. Used to the city. Now has to live at a tiny seaside town. But it's awesome. But then it crams in all of the...